Here I have two beads of tin. I made this simply by melting down a couple of ingots of tin into pellets, and then those pellets I use for different projects, and this was such of one. So here are the two beads that I made, and we're going to be taking a look at the crystal structure. Everyone's familiar with the fact that tin has when it's moved, also known as tin cry. It makes this creaking noise. Now that's due to the tin structure. I want to demonstrate the change in the crystal structure during work hardening. So with one of these beads, I'm going to hit it with a hammer until I flatten it out. And the other one, I'm just going to hit with the blowtorch and make it into a slight play. Let's begin by flattening this one out. Sufficiently flat enough. And we can now move on to the next bead. Let's hit this one with the blowtorch. I want to clean this one up a little bit with steel wool. This will help the acid attack it easier. Let's now drop them into a beaker. Next, we're going to dump in some hydrochloric acid. This will dissolve the surface, which will then reveal the crystal structure below. After some time, the acid has dissolved this top skin, and let's dump off the acid and wash them and take a look at them up close. You can tell a huge difference between the two pieces. The one that was hammered, there's really no crystal structure. And then the one that I just hit with the blowtorch and let the acid etch it afterwards, there's these immaculate, beautiful crystals in it. Now, what we did is when we hit the piece, of tin, we damage the crystals. This is a process known as work hardening. Work hardening occurs when you take a material that has large crystals and you hit it and you damage those crystals, making them smaller and smaller. This makes it harder and harder, but it also has the downside of when it becomes harder, those crystals are smaller, so it loses its flexibility. This is gonna be extremely hard to bend in this state, but if I was to heat it up again, and anneal it and make those crystals grow back large again, it'd be much easier to bend. The process of work hardening is a very useful one. It was used in the day of old when bronze tools were used. These bronze tools, bronze is a very weak material and likes to bend a lot. By, by hitting it and working it a little bit, you can work harden it, making the crystals damaged, allowing it to stay sharper and harder for longer. Let me show how difficult it is to bend it when it's been hardened by working. So let's throw it into the vise and then take a pair of pliers and try to bend it. We see that it takes quite a bit of effort to bend, but let's take this out and hit it with the torch and anneal it again and see how much easier it is to bend.
Now we have our piece that's been annealed. Let's throw it in back into the vise. And I'll bring my microphone closer so we can hear the tin cry a bit better. It takes significantly enough less force to bend that now than it did previously. You can also see the pliers have marred it a lot more now than it did previously. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments section below. If you like my content, consider subscribing and if you liked the video, drop a like. If you didn't like the video, check out another, I'm sure I have one that's up your alley. If you'd like to join a community of like-minded individuals, check out my Discord server. We talk about a load of random different topics there.